All right, Tim, nice job. Uh, the third uh, startup is going to be introduced by Damon Ragusa. Please welcome to the stage. Oh, no. It's not for me. Thank you. How's it going, everybody? Uh, that was pretty lame. I've been to a lot of uh, demo days, and they're usually a little bit louder. So how's it going? How's it going? Good, 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 good. All right, well, I, I've been up here a few times uh, in situations like this, so you don't know how hard it is for these guys who are doing this. So why don't we give one more big round of applause for these guys, because this is hard to do. So I'm going to start off with a question. Uh, how many of you love project management? Woo! No? All right, yeah, I thought so. It's a necessary evil, and it's a problem. So um, check the box. That's, uh, it came up on my app earlier today. I had to say that. I had to ask that question. The second thing that came up on that app was to uh, reference how I met the next uh, founder, which is he came in my office one day and started talking about project management software. And when I woke up, I mean, I'm kidding. I, um, I, I was really interested for about two and a half seconds, and then he started talking. By the end of the meeting, I was really excited, and that's hard to do, right? Project management software. But uh, what I'm struggling to do right now and I've already been reprimanded twice by him today, is not to tell the whole story, not to give it all away, because I'm very excited. I started using the product. I met him just before he entered this uh, class. So I've been working with the product. I've been using it myself. And that's one of the best endorsements you can get, right? When your customers start to tell your value proposition back to you, having been in that seat, that's an awesome accomplishment. So I'm going to uh, respect that and I'm going to stop talking right now. I'm going to introduce Rob Clark and Reese Scoper. Thank you, Damon. I'm sure that many of you have tried project management tools to help run your team or your business, whether you put up a monster wall of sticky notes or you use a cloud-based app. We'll meet Brad. Brad has tried these tools, too. But like you might have, Brad got frustrated and, well, he pulled out, out all his hair. <laughs> Why is this? It's because these tools act a lot like a mirror. The work that he puts onto them simply mirror the work right back to him. And that's where they stop. This makes it too easy for Brad to get overloaded with his work. And when he comes to a space in his busy calendar, it's hard for him to figure out, well, what do I work on next? As he gets his work done, he still gets left in the dark about his progress and whether or not he's on track to meet deadlines. Ultimately, to fight these issues, Brad spends more time managing projects than actually working on them. Add in the rest of his work for the rest of his team, well, we won't even go there. I'm Rob Clark, the CEO of Rescoper. Rescoper manages projects, so your team spends more time creating. Now here's Brad's busy calendar. He's also got that endless to-do list of running and managing a company. And when he comes to a space in his day, it's hard for him to figure out, well, what do I work on next? What can I fill in that blank with? And so he might even spend that entire space figuring out what to work on, and then it doesn't actually get done. Rescoper fills in the blanks in his calendar to create a productive schedule that he can use to get everything done on time. That way, Brad can arrive in the morning, grab his coffee, and get right to work. And Rescoper monitors Brad's progress, and will give him a heads up of any issues over on the right, whether his project starts slipping or he gets a little overworked for some due dates. Luckily, he can fix those issue issues with just one click. Hey, Rescoper, schedule a one-hour meeting with John tomorrow at noon. Just like talking to a real human, Brad can control Rescoper using natural language. And while his calendar showed some time to sneak in one more meeting, turns out he needs that time to get work done. Rescoper caught on to that. But luckily, it looks like Friday at 11 would be much better and won't overwork him. So let's schedule it for then instead. What's the result of all this? As Brad Zapp, CEO of Kinetic Ventures, will tell you, Rescoper provides context and focus to their work, and that's priceless. And what's the magic behind all this? Rescoper is the only project management software with artificial intelligence and machine learning. This AI tackles scheduling and risk management, so you can be a leader for your team, not a manager and a tool. And the machine learning picks up on your work habits, like your time estimation skills, and adapts to them over time. And the market for project management is huge, generating over $2.5 billion in annual revenue. And it's expected to grow another 84% by 2020. 
There are competitors in the space, but like I mentioned, they're mirrors and they lack that intelligence. Do you really want to work with another mirror? We generate revenue on a freemium SaaS model, charging per user, per month, or per year, based on the level of features that they need. And we're already generating revenue, with high conversion and low churn. We've got almost 1,000 users now, 74 of which are paying purely from word of mouth. Now, I've been programming for over 10 years, and I spent three years at Teradata as a software engineer, helping to code and manage projects. My co-founder, Shane Young, already had a successful exit, selling his company to Rackspace in 2012. Our combined project management, business, and engineering expertise make us the perfect people to build this company. And I'm proud to announce two things. First, the interface that you saw today, we just launched it last night. So everything you see up on screen is now live and ready to go. Next, we've already kicked off our seed round. And this seed round will help us, help us achieve three primary goals moving forward. First, we're going to expand Rescoper as a platform. So now that we have this interface out there, we can start integrating with some of the other tools that you may already know and love. Calendly and x.ai, they're awesome tools at letting people find times and schedule meetings with you. But they still have that classic calendar problem, and they don't know which times you need to leave open to get work done. We can apply Rescoper's intelligence so these tools only pick the best meeting times, the ones that won't overwork you. And you might have noticed an Amazon Echo on Brad's desk, too. We plan to integrate with Siri and Alexa, so project management can become completely hands-free. As I mentioned, we haven't spent a single penny on marketing yet. So by scaling through this marketing, we can hit all of our projected targets moving forward. And we've already started forming a think tank with some of the other top minds in the project management and AI space. Forming these partnerships helps serve as an additional marketing channel through inbound marketing and helps build Rescover to its fullest potential. Now, if you want to learn more about how we plan to break these mirrors and shape the future of project management, visit us at rescoper.com or come find our team later today. Thank you.